expectations today uh, to know just how our MSMEs can be incorporated into the global value chains. So I always say when you do research on a medium-sized enterprise, where do you go? You have to go to the Comba market. If you haven't gone to Mercato in Addis, if you haven't gone to Douala market in Cameroon, if you haven't gone to a niche market in Nigeria, you don't know that sector. That's what you do. I call it walk the market, smell the coffee, then you know what it is. There is no such thing that the environment of medium and micro enterprises is different from the big companies. They're playing in the same arena. In other words, football is the same game, whether you're playing in the Champions League or you're playing in what I call FICA League. 40% of all listed companies in Europe are family-based. So they were small at some stage. And all of them are making 10% more. They have outpaced every other listed company in their sector. There is always something that you look back and see that you could have done better. You always need to start somewhere. You need to respect where you start. Because we believe in being a small enterprise, you have to open your heart to help others, to mentor others, so that together you grow to be stronger. It's a very hard thing to try and transfer what you have and make your clients actually feel comfortable with, with what you are offering at the business. But as long as you remain, you are the one locking the doors, you are the one opening the business, you never grow. of micro enterprises fail because they are looking left right to try to copy the ideas of others. That business never lasts. Strategically there are three things you do. You make, you move, you provide to a consumer. So I think we need to think beyond making and say I can make it in Dubai I can distribute it in this way, so you don't have to tackle the whole value chain, because then you end up with the vagrancies we're talking about. You have to constantly recreate yourself, destroy, recreate. The best example I can give you, if I sold bananas here today myself, and I make good margins, Adam would come tomorrow with his and my brother here with this. So soon we are 10 of us, we kill each other. But you don't let that destroy you. You make them your ally and you begin to make the banana smooth. You have to create a business that is being driven from deep within you. That your passion will drive it. Your creativity will flow so that whatever you implement, it's authentic. <laughs>